Hello all newcomers and welcome back fellow Eternity. I'm gonna go ahead and say this one more time because we just got started here. Hello all newcomers and welcome back fellow Eternians. My name is as always Emperor AP and today we are back for another update stream, um, another continuation of what we've been up to since last week. Uh, hey, what's going on the re real JL films? Thank you for being the first hit up in our in our viewership here. Hey, what's going on, Dad Bod Steve? We saw you last time. Kingdom of Sa Sagin, hello. I'm not sure if you pronounce it Sagin or Sagin, but uh, we talked to you last time. Uh, Union of Mountain States, what is going on, guys? Okay, everyone's joining in. Economics, not yes, economics. We are about to talk economics. But before we start economics, I hope you guys can read this. If not, I'm going to have to do something about that eventually. Um, nanoromics, where it's at. Oh, banana, you're right. Nanners are good. What's up, Flubo? But um, so, so here's the thing we have two uh, micronational, um, micronational records that have been set in the last week since we restarted our Eternian Imperial records. So our first, if you can read it right here, is the Kingdom of Sagin with uh, the largest micronational tank, or largest tank in Minecraft. Uh, so that has been described as uh, 18 blocks in width, six blocks in length, and two in height. So if you guys think you can beat that, definitely try to. Um, eventually, I'm going to get the, the people with records, standing records, uh, and have pins on the map as to where their micronation is located and tell you guys more about them. But I've lost my pins as of right now, so I don't have those. But we'll be getting those up soon. Um, however, the ones that we're going to talk about, the newest ones, we're going to put right up here. and We're going to describe them a little bit. The second one was Gronger. Now, Gronger, I'm not sure if he has a... Um, it is a nice tank, also, Dad Bond Steve. It is. got to give a shout-out to uh, Kingdom of Sogin. They made this large tank. It's... Uh, I don't know if they consider it a part of their stuff or whatever, but it's it's definitely very cool. Uh, Gronger, I don't know if he actually has a micronation or what's going on, but he, um, based on our last stream, he was on our last stream where uh, we had talked about um, the idea of this guy Xavier being the, the god of micronations. He was in our live chat, and apparently everybody knew him, so it was really interesting. Uh, but so we started... Uh, d making this joke about this whole like religion based on ham and how Xavier is like the the, the the Jesus or the God of this religion. It was really interesting. Uh, but so then Gronger went out of his way and he wrote a whole like Hamian Bible is what he called it. Um, and it's in our discord if you want to check it out, but it's pretty funny stuff. Uh, and so thank you to Gronger. He has the record for the first ham based religion, religion entirely based on ham and the, a person named Xavier. So uh, definitely check that out. It's in our Discord. And as well, if you're interested in seeing how all that started, definitely go check out our last live stream where we had that going. But thank you to our two record holders so far, Kingdom of Sogin and Gronger. Um, a little bit about the Kingdom of Sogin that I know so far. Uh, they are based in Canada. They are based around uh, an island that they had had and uh, some, some sort of forestry that they ended up uh, discovering and sort of putting their flag down on and um, creating everything about. And um, if you haven't gotten to know them yet, they have a Discord as well um, that you can check out. I'm sure um, the King of Sogin would be happy to give you that. He's in our live chat right now. Um, and definitely keep up with these guys. If Gronger, Gronger, if you have a Micronation, hit me up with that. And I will definitely uh, tell everybody about that. But if not, he's just a cool guy and you should all get to know him. So that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and read the live chat real quick. So last time I left off, Nanoromics, where is that? Uh, give me the plant. Nice tank, bro. By Dad, Bod, Steve. Largest tank as in the military vehicle. Flugon, yes. Largest tank is in the military vehicle. I don't know if I made that clear. So he designed a little Minecraft tank really quick. Um, and he put that up as the record. So as of right now, that record stands at... 18 blocks in width, six blocks in length, and two blocks in height. So if you want to beat that, all you got to do is just design something that looks like a tank that's larger than that, and it'll get competitive here. Uh, but so far, the Kingdom of Sogin has that, and they have it hard. Um, so Dad Bod Steve said, I believe so. Dad Bod Steve, good checking out. Uh, good interpretation there. Uh, Kingdom of Sogin said, thanks, Dad. Uh, Nani said, hi, Dad. Um, Dadbot Steve says, oh, my micronation is in north central Kansas. Oh, okay, awesome. Um, so Dadbot Steve on Discord is Gronger. I was confused. Okay, so on here, on Discord, Gronger. On here, Dadbot Steve. 
um, I can I can write that on the on the board too. I just thought that was interesting. Uh, so yeah, uh, apparently Dad Bod Steve's Micronation is in North Central Kansas. Dad Bod, if you want to tell me what the name of your Micronation is, we will have it plastered up on this board and we will tell everybody a bit about it. But apparently it's in North Central Kansas. So as of right now, because I wanted to include the whole world, um, I have the map from the world map. On the other side of this, though, I actually do have. A, just a U.S. map. So if we primarily have people from the U.S. doing this stuff, I'll end up flipping over to the U.S. map. But uh, for right now, we have this one. So I'll just stick you somewhere in the U.S. And then, um, so again, I'll stick you somewhere in Canada once I have that. But um, Real Jail Films, my micronation is Catholic-based, but we allow religious freedom. Hey, that's awesome, Real JL Films. I'm glad you guys allow religious freedom. And I'm sure the Hamians would love to, to know that. Uh, Flugon7 said, who needs ham when you have gunpowder, troops, and nanners? Flugon, I'll tell you what, you have gunpowder, troops, and nanners, but how are you going to get that far? You need protein, my guy. Some some bananas, bananas have a little bit, not very much protein. You know what you need? Some ham, a nice glaze, and you can check out the previous video for more of that. You got you to gotta learn what this is all about before you start judging, Flugon. All right, uh, the Kingdom of Sogin, yeah, I'm going to put it in if anyone really cares about joining my server. There you go. Um, Hunter V15. Hey, what's going on, Hunter? Uh, good to see you, man. Um, do you have a micronation, Hunter? I think this is the first time I've seen you in this stream, so hit us up. Let us know. Kingdom of Sogin. I swear I'll have no life. Anyone beats my tank, I will make it way bigger. Uh, it seems like Sogin has some competitive edge here, so let's see where this goes. Come on, guys. If you really want that micronational award, uh, record, excuse me, you gotta, you gotta try and beat this. You gotta try and beat 18 high, two, uh, six in length, two in height. So Dadbot Steve says, United States of Sabina. I have a website too, bro. Okay, so everybody check out the website for the United States of United State of Sabina. Uh, everybody check that out, and I will throw that up on the board in a minute. Uh, Real JL Films, bro. Would an IRL homemade tank make a record? Because I have plans on making a homemade tank. Would that set a record? Yes, it absolutely would set a record. If you build a homemade tank, first off, uh, don't make it shoot anything because danger but if you do make a homemade tank i'd be impressed and you should send pictures and you should let us know how big it is and you should let us know the detail about it and i'll be like hey you have the first micronation that we know of to have a tank so that'll be the the record and if someone else makes a tank that's awesome we'll throw it up on there and you guys can compete who has the coolest tank the biggest strength the strongest tank all that stuff um and it doesn't have to be tanks it can be literally anything if you feel like you're the only person who has this or the person who has the biggest or the most throw it up there so, um, Empire of Valeria, yeet, uh, yeet, Empire of Valeria, hit us up with your micronational record. We don't see you yeeting these records up here, so come on, man. Uh, Flugon says, currently the great manor in Empire in Virginia, but it's going to be relocated to Honduras because they have bananas. You're trying to get to Honduras. Go to, um, go, go hang out with Dole in, uh, Hawaii. Where, where they do like pineapples and stuff, dude. Don't be about bananas. Get more diverse than that. Do pineapples, do mango, guava. Hit it all up. If you're going to be about a fruit, be about every fruit. Don't discriminate, Flugon. We, we can't have it. Flugon7, uh, or sorry, Dadbot Steve says, it would probably be a different record. It would be a different record, yes. Um, so if you built a real tank, that would definitely be a different record. Um, cause it's just not the same thing at all. It's a cool record though. I would be super impressed. And I think a lot of people would be impressed if you built a real tank. So be careful with that one. That's a pretty, pretty intense project there. But if you like it, go ahead. We believe in you here. Uh, we, we, we think you can do it, man. Uh, drive it to work, drive it to school, drive it to wherever. Just, it'll probably scare people. Don't, don't make it have active weapons. Never good. Um, you'll, you'll, won't be able to get in the, uh, carpool lane. Union of mountain states. Tanks are stupid. Well, for the mountain states, probably. I mean, I, I don't know too many mountainous countries that have a lot of use for tanks there because you're driving in the mountains. Uh, there's some traction on tanks, but man, the mountain states are kind of biased for shitting on tanks there. I don't know. Uh, Union, uh, or Flugon, tanks are lit as fuck. Yeah, if someone makes a tank, that, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm super impressed. Union of Mountain States, bad designs will get stuck and men inside will get goofed. 
You right. They'll get stuck and they'll get goofed. But do you have a tank is the real question. Even a tank that's just sitting there. Do you have one? Because, ooh, I don't have one. That's cool, man. 100 V15 to make a nerf tank. That would be cool. Yeah, I'd be impressed. If, if it saw, if it was like a real metal tank and then it shot nerf bullets, I'd be super impressed. I'd be like, what? The, you, you took it to a whole nother level. Nerf or nothing, literally. Uh, Flugon7 says, so design them well. Uh, true. Union of Mountain States, especially homemade. And then Union of Mountain States redacted two of their messages because they realized they don't have no argument. Union of Mountain States, man. If you're in the mountains, you don't have a need for that. Get some planes, get some ATVs. We don't. You don't need a tank in the mountains. There's no need for a tank in the mountains, dude. You got ATV. You got you got helicopters. Get whatever you need. Get some snowshoes or something. But you can't argue against tanks when you're in the mountain and you're not going to use tanks. Flugon Seven said, actually, there is because of hundreds, so it only makes sense to have a nation located there. A, that is really cool, Flugon. Uh, congrats. Um, I have had friends from Honduras. Um, I've also had friends from Guatemala. Um, and I've always wanted to go to Honduras. I had a really good friend who is from Honduras, and I've always wanted to visit his family there. He told me the mountains there are really pretty. Um, it's it's kind of a violent place from what I understand, or at least it was, um, but very pretty, um, and I would love to go there one day. So congrats. If you end up going and you get excited about it, send us pictures for sure. Um, I'd love to learn more about it. Uh, Dadbot Steve says, so what is Eternia doing for that economic success, Bruns? That's a good question. That's a great question, Dadbot Steve. And you just brought us into our next segue. So let's give a congrats to Dadbot Steve for throwing us into our next segue. In fact, Dadbot Steve, they just earned you a chain of you. Let me do that. Steve, sorry for terms. Steve should probably be spelled differently. I was spelling Steven. Steve. There we go. Bad about Steve, you just brought us into our next segue, and we will tell you what. Um, as of right now, we are moving forward with trying to build up a small treasury for Eternia. We've always had the idea, um, but really trying to get more and more into it has been difficult. So what we've done is I've put aside a small savings account that has, I can tell you how much it has right now. It has... A certain amount of money in it. It has okay. So our our bank account that's saved has um mm, that is ooh, that is these are incorrect numbers out here, my guy. These are these are incorrect numbers out here. Damn, I should have written these numbers better. Let me see. Um, well, I know our in-person treasury right now, the one that I have in my room has 148.80 in it. So that's going to be something that allows us to do quite a bit. Um, I think in total, we're getting around 400 something dollars. Um, and that's going to be a big help as well. So right now, 148.80 in cash, um, that we have in us currency, and then probably another 200 something dollars, uh, saved in the bank. So those two together are going to be a good little nest egg for us to be able to build, to be able to plan new things, maybe to be able to get more equipment for the channel, to be able to do cooler things on the channel and record and show for all of you guys. Um, and then honestly, to to save up and to invest. Um, eventually, our big, big goal with the Treasury, once we start getting uh, over a thousand viewers on the channel, which is a big milestone for us, once we start moving forward into a lot of our bigger goals, bigger aspirations, and start making more money consistently with the channel. Our big goal is to get land because land allows us to do a lot more outside of YouTube. It allows us to start more businesses. It allows us to bring in more people uh, who can consistently work and can feel a part of something that is growing and is changing and has a lot of opportunity for them uh, when it has a real staked in set of land that no matter what changes, no matter where I move, no matter what happens, that is permanent and that can always be a base for Eternia. Um, that's very important for us. So once we have ten, twenty thousand $20,000, something like that saved up, uh, I want to buy some land and I want to be able to use that land to start doing farming, to maybe start a few businesses and locate them there, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's whatever, um, something small, nothing crazy, but to have people be able to work and live there 
um, if they want to, to be able to grow our progress and to have a place that is uh, a steady, consistent base for us. Um, but that's our ideas. Up until then, we're going to every once in a while, once we have quite a bit of money built up, $500, $1,000, something like that, uh, we'll take a fraction of that and we'll spend it on things improving the channel, things improving um, for our ability to make more on YouTube and to, to get more viewership, to get more interest in the channel. Um, maybe to partner with other micro nations, uh, maybe spending some things on plane tickets to go to a microcon or whatever it is that we end up doing that will get more interest and allow us to learn more about other micro nations and how micro nations work in general. Um, that's always been one of my sincere goals for the channel has to has been to take my efforts in trying to understand how micro nations work and how to be successful as a micro nation, as successful as men can hope to be and imparting that on you guys to move as far forward as I can, attempting to be a realist micronation and attempting to create and to understand and to bring people together and to make something that's really interesting and wonderful, and then to share how I do that with you all in real time. So um, that's why we need this treasury, and that's why I'm glad that we have uh, around four hundred dollars in the in the bank right now that's going specifically toward Eternia. And I'm proud to say that, that's a, a great start for us. Um, so that's where we're going economically. But um, let's let's get back here with our live chat. Uh, I hope that answers your question, Dad Bod Steve. Let me know if you have any more because that was that was a solid segue. Uh, Dad Bod Steve, the the purveyor of segues on the channel. Uh, Federation of Ocean States. Tanks are gay in the bad way. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Federation of Ocean States. I don't think anything can be gay in the bad way because gay is just different. It may be different than you. It may be different than me, but it's not bad. It's just different. And if we see every difference as being bad, we're, we're fairly blind, aren't we? And it stops you from growing as a micro nation because you're not able to accept a whole bunch of people and you're not able to grow and you have a really specific ideology which allows you not to see different worldviews and not to be able to grow. All, all these problems, all these problems that start off by not being open minded. So uh, solid jokes, solid memes, but man, man, it's got to be good in the good way. It's got to be everything in the everything way. That was kind of a tangent, but the kingdom of Sagin, tanks are lit. There you go. Uh, it was it was a shorter, more solid response. I appreciate that, Sogin. Union of Mountain States. Set tank alight with fireworks. That could be a second award. The first award would be building a big tank. Whoa, that's awesome. Second award, blew it up with fireworks. Two awards up on the board. Two, probably one stick, stick thumbtack in the board because you can only be in one place unless you have multiple locations. So that's what we're doing. Um... Union of Mountain States, if plywood, all artist propaganda. Hey, what's going on? Um, who is all artist propaganda? Hit me up. Um, I, I'm, I'm interested. I'm impressed in all artist propaganda. Uh, Kingdom of Sogin. Let's see. Uh, ooh, I bet it's... Um, uh, I'm not sure. I was going to say Jared at first, but I don't think it's Jared. Anyway, Kingdom of Sogin, uh, Bob Simple Tank number one. What's going on? Uh, Bob Simple Tank number one. What? Oh, that'd be like the award. Bob Simple Tank number one. Achieved. Also, thank you guys for the thumbs up. Definitely make sure to thumbs up if you're here. Uh, if you appreciate the live stream, hit us up. Um, I appreciate the two so far, but we got seven viewers. Let's hit it. Three. Ooh, seven to three. We're getting it up. Come on, let's see who can have the most successful live stream audience with likes. Last time we did pretty good. I think we topped 100%. We had like 10, 12 likes, something like that, going right off the video. Let's see if we can get up to there tonight. Um, Kingdom of Sogin, yeah, but uh, tanks are meant for all terrain mountain states. Um, Kingdom of Sogin, yeah, but they are crap in the mountains. Flugon 7, wait. Uh, when, did, when did this get into military tactics? What? We were talking about economics. Come on, me and Dad Bod want to know about the economics. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but they're crap in the mountains. Flew on. What about Italian sea view? Oh my God, are we really nerding out on tank descriptions? Okay. Uh, Federation of Ocean States. 
Planes are the go-to, but no recognition can get access to planes or tanks, or at least most of them, so the whole thing is pretty roleplay. Um, how do I get the AV money? What? Pretty much roleplay. Uh, planes are the go-to, but no recognition can get access to planes or tanks, or at least most of them, so it's pretty much roleplay. Um, debatable, again, like I said, um, I'm trying to work for as realist of my foundation as I can. I'm not particularly interested in military tactics, though, so that's, I'm probably not going to invest in that. Uh, I don't see a lot of growth reasons for that. You just, not, planes are cool for travel. Uh, if you end up being able to get, like, a private plane or something, that's just cool in general. So, um, I don't know. I think, I think a micronation could get a plane. That's not too difficult. Get a helicopter, a plane, stuff like that. A tank, I just don't think it's necessary, but if that's your dream, live it up, I guess. Um, Kingdom of Sogin, how do I get the AV money? Kingdom of Sogin, what AV money? Um, if you're talking about our treasury, if you're talking about the money that is set aside for the Empire of Eternia, you got to trade with us. Hit us up. Um, we have uh, our own currency right now, which you can purchase if you want to. We'll set up an online store where you can purchase our currency. As of right now, it would be more of a token of memorabilia, things like that. Uh, but it would be our first minted edition of currency. So if we come out with a different one, yours would be rare because we'd stop printing the old one. But that being the case, as of right now, we are... Um, Attempting to start doing more with economics and with trying to figure out businesses that will allow us to use our um, our currency in a positive way. One way we're thinking of is uh, potentially a clothing line, having um, things about micronationalism, things uh, that are just cool designs that would be interesting and unique, um, where you could come and get your uh, t-shirts and other merch in general. Uh, and you could buy it with our micronational currency. So that could be an option. Also, we have eight viewers. What's going on? We've got nine viewers. We're blowing up tonight. What's going on, guys? Uh, definitely hit that like button if you're enjoying it. Uh, we are getting those eight, nine viewers, something like that. And we're trying to get that like ratio up. Come on, guys. All right. So Italian invasion of Greece. I don't know what that's about. Uh, my future plans. Okay, we're blowing up in the live chat. Uh, Italian invasion of Greece. Uh, my future plan is to make it a tourist attraction. That's a really good, also thank you for the five likes. Um, my future plan for the Micronation to make it a tourist attraction. That's a pretty good way to go, to tell you the truth, because it, it definitely brings in money. I know Malasia does that. I know um, Sealand does that. I'm pretty sure now um, uh, Liberland is doing that. Um, it's, a, it's a really good way to go, selling merchandise, things like that is always a, a great way to brand yourself so people know who you are and because it, it makes your things more valuable if people wanna buy them, obviously. But um, don't sell yourself short. You can probably do a lot more than that. If that's what you want to do, go strong with it. But if you want to do more, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to figure out how to go and turn um, our ideas and our hopes into legitimate businesses that can become a staple of a community. Um, but tourist attractions are great for communities and for making profit. Restaurants, um, um, uh, merchandise, all sorts of stuff. Flubon7, message redacted. He, he, he's got all these redacted messages. I don't know what's going on with this shit. Um, Kingdom of Sogin <laughs> said message redacted. Uh, Kingdom of Sogin, true. Uh, all art is propaganda. Just any metal does not good armor make. Flubon7 had two messages redacted. Flubon, come on, let's go. What's going on with you, man? Napoleon Gamer, hello. Please read this comment. Well, uh, how do you read a comment? Let me ask you that. Are there hieroglyphics on the side? What's going on? With that? Do I need a Do I need a telescope to view that comment? I don't I don't understand exactly what you mean. But Napoleon Gamer, I hope you can view comments, uh, and I hope you can read them as well. Flugon Seven, can I set a record for making a Lego tank fleet? Hit it up, Flugon. Let's go. Let's see where that is. Uh, Kingdom of Sogin, no Bob. A uh, simple tank was a World War II tank that the New Zealanders made from a tractor. I was educated. I didn't know you could make a tank from a tractor, but that's cool, I guess. Um, now, New Zealand's an island, right? So did they ship it off the island just to put it down somewhere else? Uh, did they leave it on the island because they thought they might need defense of their fields? But if they did, they have one less tractor. So they're, they're not doing great with their fields. What are they defending with it? These are the questions. Um, Dad Bod Steve, actually, Micronations can get some pretty good firepower. Dad Bod Steve knows where it's at. 
I don't think uh, micro nations should be trying to build militaries. That's just a, a personal idea of mine. But um, I do think micro nations can be quite um, economically and politically powerful. Um, Napoleon Gamer, who plays HOI4? Uh, Hearts of Iron, I'm guessing. Uh, I've seen it. It looks good. I've never played it. Uh, let me know how it is. Kingdom of Sogin, I have some clay that I got right from a river if you want that. Well, Sogin, I imagine it's the Sogin River or Sogin River or Sogoony River. Because um, the Goonies movie, pretty interesting stuff. <laughs> um, I appreciate that. I actually have some clay right here so i'm good um, but i do appreciate that uh, if we can find something that uh, is economically valuable for the both of us then sure but i think that's going to be a lot more difficult um hunter v15 me uh flu on seven i like uh, hearts of iron four hey there you go we're making some connections out here eight viewers what's going on guys thank you for watching napoleon gamer how old's your nation um, if you're talking about my nation, my nation has been going on since 2016. Now, we didn't start uh, actually getting into YouTube for quite a while. So probably early 2018 was when we got into YouTube, uh, around a year is when we've been really more uh, intensely active. But we have technically been around since 2016. If you look in the uh, description of my YouTube channel, it says it started in 2016. Um so real JL films. I'm not sure what you've heard of a gig Harbor, Washington, but it's somewhat of a touristy town. So I probably would make a decent amount of money. Absolutely. Um, that's a, a great way to do that. If you can get that as a part of your macro national community, that's a fantastic way to go because anytime you can ingrain yourself and make yourself known and build your brand, like we were talking about with merchandise and things, it's super important and it's, it's a great way to go about it. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, uh, yes, uh, Hearts of Iron 4. That bought Steve. I agree. They shouldn't, but they can. They can, and will they, though? Um, I, I think to build those things up is a little bit worrisome. Um, or not, not worrisome. That's not true. I don't. I just think it's not practical for a lot of reasons because um, you build it and then kind of sit around. But uh, well, I've talked about that in a whole other video, uh, why war is stupid, but again that's that's a whole different video um getting back into this napoleon gamer wow uh comrade 115 victoria 2 uh hearts of iron 4 i don't know what victoria 2 is hit me up with what's victoria 2 um all art is propaganda thoughts on somaliland and uh first all art is propaganda who are you hit, hit me up hit me up uh somaliland there we go uh first all art is propaganda I think I'm, I'm making guesses as to who you who you are. Hit me up. Hit me up who this is. Uh, but on Somaliland, so I I don't know a ton about the history of them. I know for a long time it's been a thing that's been semi-contested because um, there is uh, essentially in Somalia not a strong uh, government, not a recognized government and so there's been a sort of a de facto government in this area called Somal what they call Somaliland uh, although it's still a very dangerous and crime ridden place um, that being said it is significantly lower than the rest of Somalia um, this group has been trying to make Somalia I believe uh, a more um, more intact more stable state uh, allowing economics to grow and allowing people to sort of build up their lives that being said again i'm not sure about it i don't know what their leadership is like i don't know how corrupt they are i i wouldn't know uh, the economics or the politics going more deep than that i know they're trying something and that's it's good to have efforts going to try and stabilize a region especially in a place that can be both so violent and chaotic at the same time i don't know the means to which their ends are being achieved. Uh, I don't know who the people are that are doing this and I don't know why they're doing it, um, but what personal gains they have in doing that. So um, I'm not sure if those are good people who are doing that or not. I'm sure some of them are. Um, Napoleon Gamer, I watch ISP. Uh, hit me up on what ISP is. And then Kingdom of Sogin says, I watch ISP Andrew Journal. I don't know what that is, so interesting. Um, 
uh, Napoleon Gamer, Me Too, Real JL Films, Somaliland is not a country. Uh, maybe not. So then it's a micronation. It's something that is attempting to be its own country. Again, they're, I think they're trying to stabilize a region. So if they're not considered a country by, say, the UN, they're trying to be. And that's that's what you can hope for. It seems like they're the most successful attempt in their area thus far. Um, Napoleon Gamer, me too. Uh, real JL Films, Somaliland is not a country. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, Drew has a broken leg. Drew? I, I don't, again, I'm, I'm confused. King Dumasagi, I know. Napoleon Gamer, I plan to make my own micronation. Napoleon Gamer, tell us about your idea. Tell us about why you want to make a micronation. Would you ever consider joining another micronation? Because that's something that I've brought up a few times in previous videos. And I, I, I am very, fairly serious about it. If you're interested in micronationalism, it's not always great to start your own. Sometimes it's better to help elevate another micronation because all of us need help. All of us need more resources and we all need ways to continue to grow our influence. So if you feel passionate about micronationalism before you start your own, think about giving the opportunity to someone else to be a part of theirs and to learn and to establish yourself because your mistakes made in their micronation aren't great, but they're learning. Uh, once you start your own micronation, you have a good foothold to go off of once you work in someone else's. If you go off and start your own right away, you may not know where to go or how to do things. And that kind of leaves us all a little bit weaker. So if we can consolidate our power more and more, that allows us to become stronger as individual nations. Now, excuse me, <coughs> had to die real quick. Um, Drew's broken leg, I know, plan to make my own. Um, King Osagin said, do it. So yeah, I agree with Osagin. Um, if you really want to that bad, do it. But again, I would support looking into other micronations. Um, Napoleon Gamer, uh, I'm still looking for name. Napoleon Gamer, hmm, the king of Osagi, hmm, dad bod Steve. So Napoleon Gamer said, hmm, and then king of Osagi said, hmm. And then dad bod Steve said, Drew and ISP are YouTubers. Yeah, but what kind of YouTubers? Are they political YouTubers? Are they micronational YouTubers? Are they uh, gaming YouTubers? What, what's going on with them? Are they sports YouTubers? I don't know. Um, are they, are they um, crafty YouTubers? Are they weird egg video YouTubers? I don't know. Do they? I've seen YouTubers recently that do... Um, uh, 3D pin art, and that's cool. I don't hit me up with what kind of YouTubers they are. Um, Real JL Films describing who Drew is a little bit. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, I'm new to this channel. What's going on, uh, Napoleon Gamer? Definitely, if you're new to this channel, go check out some of our other videos when you get a chance. Um, definitely want you to hang out with us for the time being, but to know more about our micronation and about what our thoughts are and how to go about creating a micronation. There's a lot of other content on economics, on culture, on politics uh, in the rest of our videos. So that's definitely an important thing to check out if you're considering starting a micronation, just seeing where my personal journey has taken me so far and where other people's has as well. Let's see. Um, so I am on the younger person. I am on the younger person. I don't know how to probably grow our economy. I am on the younger person, and I don't know how to probably grow our economy. Kino Sagin, what? 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 Um, <laughs> no, I, I think I get you. Um, that's okay. If, if you want to talk about um, economics, it, it's hard for everyone, first off, because micronations aren't well-known, well-understood things in the first place. So a lot of your economics are gonna come from attempting to create small businesses, which on its own right is a really hard thing to do. So don't think that if you don't have your economics established or you don't know how to do that, that you're alone. Economics is hard. It's not a certain thing, it's not perfect. So you have to try and try and try and try before anything sticks and don't be afraid to, to try. Um, let's see, real JL films. They're gaming YouTubers. There we go. Thank you, Real JL Films. Thank you for explaining the mystery of Drew and IRC. What is it? Uh, ISP. Thank you. Because I don't. I don't know. Um, they're gaming YouTubers. Cool. I'll have to check them out. 
Ten Wasagi, one is a Hearts of Iron 4 sweat, and one watches games. Okay. Do, does the one that watch games ever watch the one that plays Hearts of Iron? That'd be interesting. If there was like a, if he essentially just does a reaction to another YouTuber that you watch, so you just rewatch the same video, but through someone else's perspective. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, there's no micronations around me that I know of. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you can't join others that are already online. For example, you can join our micronation. We always need help. I'm trying to figure out how to put more into the channel. I'm trying to figure out who can help me with editing and who can help me with uh, helping to design websites and things that we're trying to make. Who can help me with our micro wiki? I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do. Uh, who can help me get more people with this stuff? Uh, we're coming up with more video ideas. There's a ton that not just me, but all micronations need help with. And if you can help them, that's a huge boost. Whereas if you start your own, you're in the same position where you're one person or maybe two people who are trying to figure out how to get things started and you have just as much trouble as everyone else. You can talk to people, but micronations are generally self-interested for their own nation, trying to develop things and talk to people and um, do things like that. A lot of the time you get into this sort of cycle where you will talk to somebody and say, hey, do you want to uh, do you want to uh, uh, recognize my micronation? Do you want to have diplomacy? Do you want to make an alliance? But none of those things are really solid. None of those things really have any weight to them or really meaning behind just talking and discussing things, just being online. Um, trying to be a realist micronation, trying to actually develop something more sincere can be difficult. But the important thing to remember about it is you need people for that. The more people that you have, the stronger your micronation, the more you can get done and the quicker you can get it done. So that being the case, if you were just a, a micronation that has one or two people in it, you're not going to be able to do nearly as much as if you said, okay, well, I before I start my micronation, I see there's a micronation up here that I like and that I'm interested in. Let me give them help and let them grow. And then once they grow to a certain extent, once I can help them out enough and I feel like I want to start my own nation, I'm sure they'll be willing to help you because of how much you've helped them. And as well, when you help one micronation grow, you help the whole community because we're all trying to do the same thing. So if one micronation becomes wealthy, even just a little bit, they can start to spread that to other micronations and start to bring other micronations up by trading, by creating economic systems, by just making a platform for others to work in. And that's what's important. Trying to make micronations successful. If any one of us becomes successful, we can all start to become successful. So it's important to just consolidate that. If we're all spread out, we're not going to get nearly as far as if we came together. And I don't think that micronational organizations are the way to do that either, because I think they're more just kind of that diplomacy trade agreement type thing. Not trade, diplomacy, um, uh, diplomatic relations, talking on the internet sort of thing that I mentioned earlier. Getting back to all that and off of that tangent, uh, I'd just say, Napoleon Gamer, I'd really suggest you try to join another nation, see what it's about. If you're in, uh, interested in that at all, hit me up. We can talk about it. Even if it's not for my nation, I just still like talking more about the idea. Um, is there a micronation map? That's something I want to bring up. I'm going to talk about it more in a future video, but I want to do that. If you guys can tell me where your micronations are and you want to start creating a micronation map, I've been putting that in the works and I've been planning that. So I have a way to do it now and I know how I'm going to make it essentially a hub for micronations to know where they are and to get in contact with each other. So if you want to have your micronation put on a map, contact me and to be able to see other micronations that are around you and that you can communicate with all over the world hit me up let me know um and i will get tell you how we're going to start doing that how you can add yours to it and put a pin as to where you are on this map so stay tuned for that um and you can hit me up on discord or in my email to talk more about that uh emails in the description of my youtube channel discord uh is a link that i've sent out before if anybody wants it, can somebody please post it in there who's already in there? Um, let's see. Uh, Dad Bod Steve. I don't think so. But Dad Bod Steve, look out. It's coming soon, man. Uh, Kingdom of Sogin. It would be near impossible to map out every micronation unless every micronation puts their own on the map. So hit me up. We're going to talk about it and we're going to grow this. We're going to, we're going to figure this out and we're going to make it a hub for micronations because any one resource nation creates and has 
it boosts the resources that every other micronation has. So I'm telling you, we can do this. Uh, Real JL Films, they're gaming YouTubers. Kingdom of Sogin, one is the um, Napoleon Gamer. There is no micronations around me that I know of. Uh, they're gamers that play uh, Hearts of Iron 4 type games. Uh, Kingdom of Sogin and Watch. Message Hell for review. Real jail home. I'm probably. Oh man. Oh man. I'm gonna show you a comment. But damn, that's savage. Uh, interesting joke. Kingdom Sogin. He watches the AI. Oh okay. So he watches AI play each other in Hearts of Iron, or watches AI just fight real players? Cause that's cool. I'm interested in that. Uh, Dadbot see websites. You say? Yes, Dadbot. I say websites. You could offer to absorb other micro nations, uh, and they'd be almost like American. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, I would love to do that. If any micronation is interested in becoming a state in the Empire of Eternia, please let me know. I'm absolutely interested in that. Um, I don't know how many micronations are sincerely interested in that and wanting to become more realist. But if you are, let me know, because I want to give you access to this YouTube channel. I want to give you access to all of our resources. If you become a part of the Empire of Eternia, I'll make that pitch right now. Um, and I'll continue to do so. That's a good idea. But if you want to become a a member state in the Empire of Eternia, let me know, um, and I will give you access to be able to being able to create and put YouTube's YouTube videos on this channel so that you can grow your audience and have more people directed to your uh, your things. Um, and as well, it helps me with content, and uh, I'll allow you things like access to the micronational map and all these other things that we're getting underway. Um, let's see. Napoleon Gamer, have any of you heard of Bluffdale, Texas? I have not, but that's a quick Google search away. We can find Bluffdale, Texas. MLG to map thing seems interesting. Uh, I got the invite. Uh, we'll sending it soon. Um, okay, awesome. Um, so first off, um, MLG Dorito, I already have the map thing created. I'm continuing to work on that, so don't worry about that. But um, like I said, if you if you guys will just contact me about wanting to be on the map, wanting your individual nation to be on the map, we will get that started. I'm about to put it on a website that I'm building for the Empire of Eternia anyway. But um, Emoji Dorito, I appreciate it. Could you post that one more time? Because I don't think the full link went in there um, for the Discord. King of Sogin, I have territory. All of North America can put – I have territory. All of North America can put – can I put them or do you want to put just my main territory in the map? Um, so uh, you can put all of them. If you have specific ones, you have to tell exactly where they are. They're going to be pinpointed on a map, on a fairly detailed map. Uh, but we will we will have that work out. Um, so uh, Flugon says, I'll gladly absorb all your nations. Uh, Kingdom of... Sagin so says about ten thousand dollars, and I will let you absorb me. Uh, first off, that sounds weird, Sagin. Secondly, uh, ten thousand um, dollars? No, no, I don't. What makes you think your nation is worth ten thousand dollars, Sagin? I I appreciate the the high uh, high achieving status here, thinking you're worth ten thousand dollars. I don't think my channel or any of my stuff's worth ten thousand dollars. So hit me up, dude. If you got something that's worth ten thousand dollars, hit me up. Uh, all right, is propaganda or make a constituent country. Um, constituent. Do you essentially just mean like a like a puppet state, like a state that um, works for the another country? Um, I don't really like the idea of that because then it, it doesn't necessarily seem like it's fully a part of the empire. Um, if someone really is dedicated to becoming a part of the empire, I want them to feel proud enough of, of that to be able to be an actual part of the empire. Uh, but I definitely understand. Um, Napoleon Gamer, my backyard is dead. It's so hot outside in the day. I'm sorry your backyard is dead. Um, I believe um, there are shots that paramedics give to people uh, to restart their hearts. And if you want to try and stabbing that in the ground in your yard, maybe that'll help. Um, you probably need the little shock paddles too to give it, you know, that, that jolt of life back in it. Uh, honestly, you may need to call, um, call the police or somebody to just try and get your yard back, you know. 
we we all want your yard back and we're we're definitely keeping you in our thoughts there grow some vegetables you know. um mlg dorito you can't send links over youtube chat discord.gg slash that um okay i appreciate it um flu bounce, and i'm starting to realize that i kind of sound like cell from dragon ball z i'll gladly absorb all of your nation that's funny okay i i'm getting you flu on uh that emoji dorito uh like england within the uk okay thank you guys for clarifying because i appreciate it. i didn't fully understand constituent countries are like the four countries in the united kingdom um, I definitely agree with that, but the only difficulty is the way that the Empire of Attorney is structured is with a monarch, with a, an autocracy. So uh, as that works, we could have constituent countries, as you say, but they really wouldn't be their own countries. They would be subjected to a, a ruler, to a hierarchy. I know uh, in the UK there's a parliament and there are voting and things like that, but this would be significantly less democratic um, by design. Emoji Dorito or Greenland within Denmark. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, I have a name for my micronation. Hit us up, what's the name for your micronation? Uh, Kingdom of Sogging, can I be a citizen of your nation and still have my nation? Yes, you can. Yes, absolutely. Um, if that's what you wanna do, sure. Um, become a part of our nation. The the thing that's weird about that is the way that we have our um, have our description of land set up is that where our citizens are, our land is. So where you live, where you you call home, would be also considered part of the empire. But at the same time, that would also be considered part of your micronation. So um, I'm sure there's some way to work that out. But yes, if you want to be a part of our nation and a part of yours, you can definitely do that. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, it rained yesterday. I'm sorry. It rained here a few days ago, I think. Uh, Real Jail Films, but I think Shock in the Backyard will kill it more. Real Jail, come on, man. You got to believe in yourself. You got to get those those shock paddles up. You got to give your yard a one-two punch. You got to get it ready. Come on. You got to give it. Give your yard mouth come out, man. Go all in. You know, your your yard needs you here, man. You you can't let it down. You got to go get a, a rag, wipe its forehead like it's on a, the last round of a boxing match. You know, get it, get it something, man. You, you got to water your vegetables. You got to get those crops ready. I don't, I don't know what your backyard needs, man, but you can't give up on it now. Believe in your yard. Believe in your yard. Quote from AP. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, Greenland within Denmark, um, I think it'll kill it more. Well, then get it some rain, man. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, the name of my nation is Empire of Germany. Interesting. Why is it Germany? Is it like Germany, but with a weird, like, speech impediment? Is it like Germany? Uh, or maybe like a really thick, not German, but maybe like Swedish accent? Um, Joseph Pina, greetings from Heartland upon dreams and seas. Greetings, Joseph Pina, from Heartland upon dreams and seas. Uh, definitely, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, please make sure to smash the like button and more importantly, subscribe. If you have a micronation and you're interested in learning more about micronations, we have a ton of videos on economics, culture, uh, starting a micro niche, creating a flag, all these kind of things uh, that we're interested in sharing with you. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Um, 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 Real JO Films, bro, reverse CPR will help it. Uh, all art is propaganda. Suzertainly. Suzertainty. Suzerainty? Uh, I'm confused. I'm confused on what you're saying. Uh, King Musagi, most of the time I'm not in my nation. When we can, we just call it disputed. Um, absolutely. I mean, we can call it shared. I feel like disputed has like potentially a negative connotation, like we're battling over it. Um, I definitely agree with what you're saying. I'd consider it like shared territory. Absolutely. Um, Dad bought Steve, don't nuke people. Another quote from AP. We, we don't need to nuke people. If you guys build tanks, don't make tanks with nukes because we don't nuke people. Don't nuke people. 
uh, I'm gonna do the little, that, that's gonna be one of our first things instead of like the, the Shea Guevara like thing like that or, um, or like the Uncle Sam thing, uh, mine's gonna be like this and it's gonna be like, don't nuke people. And it's just going to be a poster that you can hang up on your wall or like a t-shirt you can get. It's just don't nuke people. AP. <laughs> um, Napoleon Gamer says, ya. Yeah. See, but is that Swedish? Like, what is the ya? Yeah? Because ya yeah could be German. Ya yeah could be a lot of European countries. Hit me up with what that ya yeah means, Napoleon Gamer. MLG Dorito. My micronation is people. Also, does everyone have to talk about, talk like that? Like, depending on where you're from. Uh, if you're from like Sweden or Denmark or Norway or somewhere like that, where people might go, yeah, then it, it kind of makes sense. Um, but if you are from like North Carolina and a whole bunch of people are going, yeah, in your mic, I just, I just think it'd be interesting. You can adopt that as a part of your nation if you want, but I, I'd be interested to see how, how people would react. Uh, my micronation is People's Republic of Ponderosa Hills. You did hit us up with that, MLG Dorito. I'm glad you, you're the People's Republic of Ponderosa Hills. Uh, again, I'm going to express that to all you guys. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't checked out the channel, all the videos, check them out. Uh, because we really do. We're trying to get opinions and thoughts on my economic views and the take of how to sincerely build a micronation. Um, one that will be successful and, and has a chance at growing large. Um, Momo says, why don't you, oh, damn, that's savage, Momo. I don't I don't know about all that, but I appreciate it. Uh, your streaming is boring. See, though, there, there's a whole little chat going on here. That's that's interesting. Yeah, thank you, Comrade115. That is rude. Uh, Kingdom of Sagin, I don't think so. Hey, you guys are showing love. I appreciate that. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with Momo, but damn, savage. Uh, MLG Dorito, I'm going to work on my micro wiki page because I'm being voted on to, on joining the gum tomorrow. Congratulations, that MLG Dorito. That's cool, man. And you guys are Ponderosa Hills. So we'll be checking out for you. Uh, congratulations. Good luck. And we will see you soon, man. Um, Napoleon Gamer. I'll change it to the Empire of Dog. Okay. Interesting. Um, do you do you have a dog? Do you have a specific dog in mind that this is the Empire of? Because that's the real question. MLG Dorito. Listening in the background, though. Oh, okay. Awesome. All right. So you're still going to be with us. Still hang out. I appreciate it. We can we can make like a podcast. We're we're hanging out here in the in the place that MLG Doritos at. You know he's he's on his computer right now, uh, doing whatever he needs to do in his life. Uh, he's he's writing the the gum micro wiki report, uh, and we are we are uh, here with him. T tell us a little bit about that MLG Dorito. Let's let's hear about uh, his the the tale of his triumph in creating his uh, gum micro wiki. Um, his application here. MLG Dorito, how, how does it feel to be one of the most successful in the game? <laughs> uh, artist propaganda. So certainty is any relationship in which one region or polity can controls the foreign policy and relations of a tributary state while allowing the tributary state to have internal autonomy. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. Good, good hit up. Suzerainty. Suzerainty. Okay. Also, who is the... Hit me up. Um, I don't think this is David. This is this is Ryan, isn't it? This is Ryan. What's up, Ryan? Flugon seven. Why I shouldn't nuke? Why shouldn't I make nuke tanks? Sounds pretty fun. Flugon, I'll tell you, man. If you can't, were you the one who couldn't get your what, yard set up? Who is it? Oh, no, that was Napoleon Gamer. Okay, I was about to say, Flugon, if you're making nuke tanks, but you can't get your yard set up, but that was, that was uh, Napoleon Gamer. Napoleon Gamer, man, if you have the Empire Dog, and that dog can make some fertilizer for you, oh, my gosh, dude, you can bring that yard back. Uh, and Flugon7, if you do build nuke tanks, you're not going to help his yard, man. This is going to be dead for years. You don't want that. We're trying to bring his yard back. We're trying to help people. So come on, man, believe in yourself. And And... Don't don't make these nukes that are just gonna set our yard re re energize re energizing re lifeification uh, back. So don't don't set us back there, man. Joseph Pina, I am a subscriber, and we have nicknames: the Eternal State or the Realm. The Realm seems interesting. Um, so do you say we're going to the Realm, or do you say we are the Realm? Welcome to the Realm. That's interesting. The Eternal State. 
that's cool because it's like the state will never end. It'll never die. It'll prosper forever type of thing. Um, at the same time, um, you could also have it similarly to New York, the city that never sleeps. We're the eternal state. We are always up. We're always doing something. We're always grinding. We're always moving. I like it. That's good marketing, man. Um, real jail films. Ya yeah is not French. Did I say it was French? I think it said like Swedish or Norway or Denmark. But if I said French, my bad. Okay, interesting. Uh, MLG Dorito, it feels pretty lit. Hey, there we go. We've got a response back from MLG Dorito. Uh, he said, quote, it's pretty lit. And we got to respect that. You know, he's coming into the game strong. He's applying for gum. He's got his setup here. And you know what? Honestly, we we really need someone like him. You know, he's a young rookie coming into the game, knowing what he wants. He's, he's got these good stats, and he's going to kill it today. We know he's the short term of his career, but he's about to show us what he can do on the micronational stage. So we're ready for it. We're excited. And I tell you what, I tell you what, I haven't seen a rookie like this since my days back in 1942 flying helicopters into the micronation of uh, Jabba, Jabba Blikistan. Um, I remember that quite frequently. And honestly, it's, it's something that gives me hardcore PTSD. Um, yep, there was, there was crazy shit everywhere, but honestly, not as crazy as... Uh, MLG Dorito application. So here we go back into MLG Dorito's uh, application. Let's let's get into it. How you doing, man? Um, Flubound7 said, honestly, I'm listening in the background too and playing uh, Hearts of Iron 4 right now. Just landed my Ethiopian troops in Sicily. Those sketty boys pay, those sketty boys will pay for invading. Okay, interesting. Wait, so is Hearts of Iron 4 like a full-fledged uh, like large-scale strategy or is it specifically um is it specifically tanks? Because I thought it was just tanks, but if it's like a larger thing, that's cool. I'm impressed. My backyard has a lot of ants and they walk when it's nice and cold. See, so you can be the, the nation of ant or the kingdom of ant because that's cool. <clears throat> you could set up your hierarchy, higher, hierarchy like ants. Ants have colonies. Ants have men. They're able to travel very far. They're all very strong and they're very coordinated creatures. So ants are a good thing to role model yourself off of, especially army ants. Oh man, <clears throat> but not that cold. Kingdom of Sogim, gas them. Ooh, don't gas these ants, man. That's his national animal. That's his national treasure. That's the Nicolas Cage to his um, Da Vinci Code. If he was in the Da Vinci Code, he was in um, National Treasure. That's it. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, no, I like nature. That's good. Be be one with nature. Be one with the ants. Just just live in the ant hill. It'll be all good. Learn from them. Write down their rules. Understand their language. Become friends with them, and then take over the world with tiny ants. Uh, I think they're like they're supposed to be something like more more ants, more more of the world's. More weight, more mass in the world is made up of ants than humans, I'm pretty sure, which is which is pretty cool. Um, uh, Real JL Films, I say, I'm say what ya yeah isn't. Okay. Ya yeah isn't French. We know that. We know it's not French. So we know not here, but the question is where? The more you know. It's not... French. We know it's not French, but where? Um, let's see. So, um, Soggy Gas the Ants, MLG Dorito. I'm not really rookie. I've been into micronationals for five years. Ooh, okay, MLG Dorito's coming in with that correction. Uh, he actually brought out his post stats. Ooh, his, his pre-stats from coming into the game a lot earlier than I thought. Uh, as it turns out, he is not a rookie. He's not a rookie at all. He's been in the game for a minute. He's been ready for it, and he's been setting it up. Uh, the problem is he's not, uh, he's not a rookie. As it turns out, I'm senile. So uh, today we're going to get back to you with the dementia report where uh, Emperor AP forgets things, and he has uh, violent PTSD with it, uh, specifically micronational ones, which uh, isn't, isn't much of anything. But here we go. Uh, Kingdom of Sogin, do it. Napoleon Gamer, no. Flugon, hooray for violating the Geneva Convention. Ooh, interesting. Um, don't do that, I guess. Oh, with gassing? Yeah. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, you know what I'm changing. You know what? I'm changing it to environment. There we go. We made progress. We have affected the uh, the foreign policy, the the culture 
of a micronation. We've been successful here today. We have impacted another nation and another nation has impacted us. So I feel proud of our progress today. Uh, Joseph Pina, basically heartland upon dreams and seas is the world is the world, and we are an online deviant art nation. Our mission is to preserve and expand. I am its foreign ambassador. Well, thank you, Josephina. Um, I hope you get a lot about uh, out of this channel. Then, uh, if you are its foreign ambassador, absolutely reach out to us. We're on Discord. Uh, you can join our Discord if you want. Um, I'm. I'd love to see your art. I'd love to see um, the way that you all are growing and expanding and trying to um, preserve, as you say. Uh, I'm really glad that everybody's a part of the the chat today and hitting us up um as well joseph pina if you are uh, an ambassador tell us more about your nation tell us what it's like tell us what you're trying to do and also make sure to subscribe make sure to to hit up all that stuff because there's a lot in there that you may be able to show your other fellow micronationalists the other people in your deviant art group um that they might not know about their opportunities as micronations uh kingdom of Sogin, they are inferior napoleon gamer uh, no fire ants, though. Um, Kingdom of Sogin. Gas all the ants. They are inferior. Napoleon Gamer. The ants are my citizens. Ooh. Ooh, this is becoming a strong debate between the empire of ant and the kingdom of Sogin. This is some kingdom empire drama. This is something that's been set up for a minute. We've seen these hostilities come in before, and honestly, I don't know if they're going to make it through this, how are we going to understand the, the diversity, the complexity of this situation without diving further into the chat? As, as an emperor of a micronation myself, I say I have to be on the side of the Empire of Ant. You know, they, they have just started themselves out. They've declared themselves the Empire of Ant. And immediately they get, they're getting aggression from the, the Kingdom of Sogin. Now, we know the Kingdom of Sogin always always being up for standing up for what they believe in, being really strong of character and, and in in knowing what they feel in their heart needs to change about the micronational world. But honestly, we have to see where this is going to go because I'm not sure as a commentator who's going to end up on top. Also, thank you very much for being the 11th uh, viewer of this, whoever's the 11th in here. Uh, but we were talking about this intense battle that's going on between the Kingdom of Sogin and the Empire of Ant that was just created. And they're talking about gassing each other's citizens. This is getting crazy. Um, it's just been sitting in the chat. Napoleon Gamer, answer my citizens, flew on seven. Hearts of Iron 4 is a World War II themed strategy game where you can play. Uh, it's just about any nation around that time. You can train up all types of soldiers. There are tanks, cavalry, artillery. See, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know that it was that detailed. I thought it was primarily a tank game, but that's cool. Pulling Gamer said, Citizens. Real JL Films said, Ooh, ooh, we jumped around. We jumped around quite a bit. Um, cool. If we know. Okay, citizens, real JL films. If we know where Yah isn't, then we know what Yah is. I don't think that's completely true. King of Sogin, they are weak. Answer weak, he says. Uh, well, they're weak, but they're many. So you may be able to crush one ant, but try crushing a million. That's that's more difficult. Um, Flogin, why shouldn't we gas you, huh, Sogin? Okay, now we're getting, ooh, gassing people. This is getting intense. I don't know. I don't know how this started, but we're getting into World War I of micronations here, and I'm not down for it. we got to keep these pieces, Reese's Pieces, and keep the peace like Switzerland. I am saying it's a no-go for me. Napoleon Gamer, no, they aren't. King of Musagin, take them out. King of Musagin, one, bye. And then Napoleon Gamer jumps in. They can lift ten times their body weight. But he said wait as if it's like hold on. So I imagine it's take them out one by they can lift ten times their body. Wait. Like he's about to think of something, like he's about to jump in and say something. Uh MLG Dorito jumping back in. Uh ooh, MLG Dorito is joining in with the beef. Say an answer subhuman fly master race. Flies are kind of gross though, man. I don't ooh, he see, see, MLG Dorito, we're we're coming back in with that commentary. MLG Dorito coming in with that hard left turn coming in with that third perspective on, on this debate. You know, I, I'm not sure that anybody asked about a fly master race, but apparently that's in now. And I don't know if they're going to be the contending party yet. We still have the kingdom of Sogin, We still have the empire of ant and now the fly master race. How is this going? How does this make any sense anymore? And honestly, where is micronationalism delving into at this point? This is an intense conversation and it's going to pave the future for a long time to come. So let's see how these relations work out uh, in the live chat. 
Uh, Fugan said, this is why micronations need militaries. We need to take down the oppressive kingdom of Sagin. Ooh, Flugon7 joining in. Again, continuing that beef. Flugon7 not really necessarily joining in a side. It seems like he's he's leaning more towards Sogin, but it also seems like he could be stirring the pot here. So let's see what's going on here. Um, it does seem like Flugon might just be on, on the side of uh, Ant. I feel like I'm on the side of Ant. But again, Switzerland, pulling a Switzerland. So let's see how this goes. Comet creator. Ants are actually wicked smart. Some species grow and farm fungus, and many more farm aphids for honeydew. That's super cool. I didn't know ant, ants hunt. Uh, I didn't know ants farm. That's very cool. Um, that shows their intelligence, shows their capability, and their ability to cooperate. That's really cool. Um, it's kind of a hive mind sort of thing, just being able to to develop that complex a system. Um, and that's something that's great to model your nation after. Ants is, is pretty cool. I've never thought of that and I'm impressed. So I want to see where the Empire of Ant goes. King of Sogin trying to destroy the Empire of Ant. The Empire of Ant coming up with an all new situation, getting backed by a whole bunch of people in the comments. I, I think Sogin may be outnumbered here. Uh, the one person that has come semi to their side is, um, is MLG Dorito. But it doesn't even seem like MLG Dorito is coming in from a completely sane perspective. He's coming in for the Fly Master Race. So we're not even sure how that's going to develop yet. King of Sogin, they're like 0 0.01 pounds. Uh, yeah, so then if they can lift 10 times their body weight, that's still a tenth of a pound, which is pretty cool considering a tenth of a pound and then going up to uh, 10 ants could lift a pound. Well, yeah, that means 10 ants could lift a pound, and that's impressive, dude. Um, MLG Doritos, what do you guys think of Arcovia? Uh, what is Arcovia? Somebody hit me up. Um, last last time we talked, y'all brought up Arcovia. And again, I'm not sure what that is. I'm imagining it's a game, but again, not, not certain of that. Um, all art is propaganda. What is Eternia's position on the UN Treaty on Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons? Um, I support uh, non-creation of nuclear weapons, non-proliferation. Proliferation, proliferation. Excuse me. If I think I'm understanding that correct, correctly, I, I believe I've heard of it in the past. Essentially, saying that you don't want to create any more nuclear weapons in the world that are already out there, um, or not expand nuclear arsenal. Certainly, um, that's something that I do support. I think that the world needs significantly less nuclear arsenals because the amount of damage that we can do already is large. I think we should be into nuclear power, but I don't think nuclear weapons are the right way to go. As technology adv advances, we have so many ways to attack each other already uh, and damage each other that we don't really need them. It's, it's a large, large price to pay for something that's at this point not economically or or tactically worth it. Um, so I agree with that, it's, it's too much. Napoleon Gamer, once I saw the ants using my hose as a highway, that's pretty cool. See, they're learning, they're understanding. And if you recorded that, and if you do, there's there are multiple channels that are ants. They do ant colonies and things like that. If you described the lifestyle and the progress of these ants, I'd be impressed, and I think I'd watch it. Um. So let's see. Okay, we're um. So we're we're going back. Um. Real jail films, bro. If a war breaks out. Uh, I'm declaring Switzerland, and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, me and me and Real JL are, are on the same page because Switzerland's got the right idea on this. King of Asagi, message redacted. Dad Bob Steve, message redacted. Everybody in this, message redacted. Uh, all art is propaganda. Some ants create antibiotics. That's cool. And also, it has the name ant in it. Those are antibiotics. Those aren't fly biotics. You can't make fly biotics. So I, I think already right here, all artist propaganda has just completely destroyed uh, MLG Dorito's point here with the fly masteries because ants can make antibiotics. Can flies make fly biotics? Here we are back with the news. Um, Kingdom Sogin, Napoleon Gamer, I'm laughing so hard. I'm glad you're enjoying this, King, uh, uh, Napoleon Gamer, because you know what? Honestly, Napoleon needs some laughs, man. He's He's been working hard. He got kicked uh, out of France, he he was he was banished, and it's crazy. You know, I think he needs some laughs just as much as the rest of us. Um, King Nosagi, message redacted. Joseph Pino, we recognize you as a nation. Our government is called the Blue Universal Order. 
which is all governments in one, except evil ones, except evil governments. What are the, what are evil governments? I guess I'm interested, Josephina. Uh, I appreciate you recognizing us as a nation. You know, it would be even better to recognize us as a nation if you hit that subscribe button. If you go ahead and do that, that'd mean a lot to us, uh, and we'd really appreciate it. Uh, so, Josephina, go, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're all we're all rooting for you to do that. Kingdom of Sogin, gas the flies too. Ooh, Kingdom of Sogin turning on his one potential ally, saying to gas the fly master race. He's not going for a, uh, a W here. He's definitely going for just the knockdown and tear down of as many enemies as he can here. He's taking them all with him. Uh, Napoleon Gamer. X to the D. He's got that. He's he's smiling so hard his eyes are crossed into an X. That is insane. He the Napoleon gamer has no idea what to do now. He's just he's completely cross-eyed for the rest of his life. Look what your war has done. Look what these casualties have brought about in the world. A poor man, eyes crossed into an X. Napoleon gamer not knowing what to do. But he's laughing. He's in good spirits. And that's what's important. Dad bod Steve. Actually, ants are way more advanced than flies. So, huh. Actually, ants are way more advanced than flies. And I tell you what, I agree with that. Um, it looks like the fly master race is not going to win this one. Not on a tech superiority, at least. Maybe they can get a cultural victory if they can really try and express the need for rotten fruit. But as of right now, I think the tech victory is out of the way for them. I even think the military victory is out of the way for them. Because as of right now, with the new patch for Civ 5, we're, we're seeing a lot of updates, especially in the ant colonies. And especially with ants having the upgraded uh, mandibles that they have. Um, fly wing power has definitely been nerfed, so not a lot of uh, tactical advantage over uh, wings at this point. So uh, as well, some fly, uh, fly mods being able to actually equip wings as well, especially the uh, queen archetype. So that's a very, very interesting. And it seems like the fly master race is just just not cutting it anymore you know uh it, it's hard if you're playing this fly master race you're definitely getting a low bar to start out with uh to try and get any victory um let's see here uh whoa we've got a lot um pulling gamer xd i'm laughing so hard um pulling gamer they don't sleep ants don't sleep that's cool uh, they also probably don't live super long because of that. Dad, but Steve, they've been agriculture, suicide bombers, and much more. I don't, I don't know if ants invented suicide bombings. Uh, I don't know that they did. It'd be interesting if you could be like, actually, in 1312, the bombing of the ants came about when uh, Rutherford B. Ant said he was going to uh, bomb all those flies. Uh, and you just saw flies dropping out of the sky. It was crazy. Um, ants were the first people to build uh, the little electric bug zapper fly traps. Uh, didn't know if you knew that. Napoleon Gamer, they take naps. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So that's sleep. If ants take nap, that's sleep. It's just short sleep, but they have short lifespans too. So, Game of Saw Gamer, flies are way worse than ants. Nuke them. Okay. Again, we're not nuking anybody, but Sogin's throwing his throwing his allies under the under the bus here. Pulling gamer. I hate flies too. Okay, so everybody, <laughs> even if there's no consensus for certain between ants and sogeen, there's consensus on that it's not flies. We we're not sure if sogeen's coming out victor. We're not sure if uh, the Empire of Ants coming out victor, but we know flies aren't coming out the victor. Fly master race more like fly in normal race seems to me the race like everyone else I equality for the flies is what we're having here today. We're making progress. Uh, <coughs> also, I appreciate the nine viewers, guys. Eight thumbs up, nine views. Let's see if we can get that nine to nine. Let's even see if we can get it nine to 15 likes. That'd be crazy. Um, um, Ant straight up invented slavery. No, I think ants invented communism. I think you were thinking of communism. They all work together. They all put in a pile. They all serve their queen. They all um, uh, get about the same amount in everything. Um, don't think it's slavery, though. Uh, they get well. Well, interesting. I'd I'd be interested if there was any ant economy. If there were any ants that actually got paid for their work, then they may. But interesting. Kino Sagin, nah, real though. I hate flies. Ants are all right. Agreed, Sagin. Uh, flies can get in my house. 
fairly easily. Ants, it's a lot harder. They got to like climb up things. They got to maneuver. And they're not as interested in getting to my house. If I put candy out on the floor, they're, they're going to try. But other than that, it doesn't seem like they're too interested in me. So ants are all right by me. Uh, real JL Films. Look up Oreo game. I'm not sure if I want to. I appreciate it. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's, that's the right thing to do. I'm not sure if that's the smart man's move. MLG Dorito. Ants. Backslash S. I don't know what that is. Pulling Gamer. I use Ants. Pulling Gamer. I'm going to look at some flags. Hit us up. Uh, Flu Down 7. Ants are a great source of manpower and protein. The more you know. Uh, Flu Gun 7, or Kingdom of Sogging, gas everything. Kingdom of Sogging, you're getting crazy with this gas, man. You're getting too crazy with the gas, man. We need to we get you off these beans or something, because this gas is getting out of control. Napoleon Gamer, yes. XD. See, Napoleon Gamer, he's been for a while, he's been having his jokes, but he has not been able to get his eyes uncrossed. They're still like this, and his mouth is still like this. In the D shape. He's got the X and he's got the D. And I think we need to bring him to the hospital at this point, guys. It seems like it's a problem. And Napoleon Gamer, keep us updated. Are you all right, man? Are you going to permanently be like this? Can you see out of an X? We, we got to figure this out. Um, Napoleon Gamer, I'm going to die. Napoleon Gamer said he's going to die. Don't let him die. Somebody save him. If you can hear from this computer, somebody save him. Napoleon Gamer is dying. Not good. All artist propaganda. XD uh, use for anti. What? Oh, that's not good. Wow. I am so sorry. Is used for crazy. Y'all shouldn't be putting this in the chat. We don't want that. Napoleon Gamer, I'm laughing so hard. Please be here. <laughs> Do not die on this stream. Josephina, you mean fascist and that? Uh, that's what? Oh, okay, sweet. So that's what you're that's what you're describing against being against fascism. Interesting. Okay, respect respect that, Josephina. Um, learn more about all that at the Empire of Attorney YouTube channel. Uh, not about fascism, about culture and economics. Uh, Fluke on seven. Uh, that's it. So you know, I'm getting my army of bees. You finna get mega clapped. Well. If he's getting mega claps. I don't know what we can tell you. I don't. I don't know what the correct response is. Um, just don't mega clap. Don't do it. Uh, flu on seven. Fascism is always bad. Agreed. But uh, Sogin is trying to nuke everyone. So be careful. Message is hell for a beer. Uh, yeah, no shit. I was making a a joke. Anti-antism. Anti oh, okay. See, I was thrown. Okay. See, I guess it was just my lack of understanding, but interesting. I, I'm i sorry I missed the joke. Interesting. I just probably it. Fascism is always bad. Agreed. Real JF Films. Look up Oreo game, please. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Someone else knows what that is. Good for them. I, didn't, I don't know about it. Comic Creator 1296. In the United Provinces and Territories of Cat Republic, we have the bestiary of animals living on our claimed land. We have videos and pics of local acrobat ants farming aphids on milkweed. That's pretty cool. I like that. So are they considered part of your bestiary? Are they do you have a um, a collection of these animals? Do you show them as exhibits? Is it more like a zoo? Um, or do you let them roam free? Is it more like a nature preserve? Uh, and as well, I recently heard of a library, I forget where it was, but a library that lets you check out um, animal artifacts. So things like mounts for different animals, different uh, scales of uh, the horns of moose, things like that. I believe it was an Alaska thing. Maybe not, but it was it was something that seemed pretty cool to be able to let people uh, check out different pieces of natural history and to be able to uh, learn about the wildlife that are in their area. So if you guys did something similar to that, that'd be really cool. Uh, just being able to show people animals and teaching them a lot more about them. Um, King was talking, I am not fascist. I'm making, I'm not killing civilians. I am making a new world order. Interesting. So this is, 
this is an interesting way this is devolved to read it. The rogue ants was to say the ants are Jews because the meme to gas ants. Okay. Okay. I'm 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 learning. I'm I'm putting I'm putting these dots together. I'm I'm figuring this all out. Uh this is this is the the super meme. Josephina, plus we are subscribed. Thank you, Josephina. That means a lot. I've been I've been throwing this at you. I've been making this pitch this whole time. Didn't even know you were already part of the the, the group, man. I appreciate it. Let's, let's get that self high five in there. That sounds cool, man. Napoleon Gamer, that's fascism. Being subscribed? No, I don't think so. Napoleon Gamer, the Empire of Ant is kind of like a Holy Roman Empire. Respect, but with ants, the Holy Ant Empire. Real, uh, you could have the Holy Ham Empire. We have that created by uh, Dadbot Steve. He's in it. Um, everyone, look up Warrior Game. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to stop mentioning it. No, I'm not fascist Nazi. I'm a communist. Dope. I don't think anyone called anyone that, but that's interesting. Cool. Um, Dad, but see, no, they really did. No, they really did. What was that about? Oh, subscribe or making a new one. What was the really did? I'm confused, Dad, but Steve, what was your really did? Flew on seven. The Empire of Ant is a Holy Romans as a loose confederate. As in a loose confederacy, do you mean something else? Um, some ants pin their... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to tell you there. I'm confused on what you're asking, Flugon. Dad, Bod, Steve. Some ants pin their enemies down and explode a sticky acid on them. That's pretty cool. Y'all are teaching me more ant... How does everyone know all these ant facts? I'm impressed. Real JL films. Um, okay, I'm, I'm stopping that. Uh, I, I just don't know what it is. Nobody's explained it. Ants will try to penetrate opponents' exoskeletons and shoot acid into them to dissolve their organs. Ryan, why are you, mm, mm, why are you telling us all these intense ant facts out here? Everyone's throwing in these intense ant facts. Um, Pulling Gamer, when I went fishing, I saw a dragonfly being eaten by ants. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, that, that counts. Dad about Steve, you know I meant slavery. What? I'm confused. Uh, Dad, about Steve, there are ant species that take over other colonies and force them to work for them. Oh, so I guess they really did kind of push forward that stuff. Well, I don't know. I guess you continue consider it like assimilation. I'm not sure because they don't. I don't know if it changes their way of life much. Um, I feel like the ants would probably be like, well, we need somewhere to live, and this is how we do things anyway. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Josephina, we have a charter called the World Festival Charter, which is named after the World Festival of Youth and Students. That's pretty cool. Now, um, if you have a World Festival Charter, do you actually travel the world? Are you a group that uh, does a lot of uh, work traveling the world, getting to know other people? Because that's cool. If you have the money and the resources to do that, I'd certainly be impressed, and I'd love to hear more about it. Um, artist propaganda. Some ants join colonies together. To some ants join colonies together to create super colonies. And that's very cool. I'd be impressed. Um, I want to see what the world's largest ant colony is. I would. I would love to. Uh, Dad, Bob, Steve, that's just rejected. Real JL films. Bro, my friend. To look up. Don't actually look at. Interesting. Napoleon Gamer. I'm alive. Real JL films. What? Does Eternia have an anthem? We do. We've gone through multiple anthems. Um, I have posted one before at some point. Uh, I think in the beginning of a video, I can go back and repost it. Uh, but we do have an anthem, and I can show you that later. All artist propaganda and anthem. Uh, we do have an anthem. Uh, and thank you, artist propaganda, for that correction. Ryan, we know you always love coming in with those corrections on everybody. Uh, Ryan, why aren't you a part of this micronation? Hit us up. Uh, that emoji, Dorito. Look up Alabama Hot. Okay, I'm not. You're, you're just throwing stuff out here at this point, Dorito. Uh, Josephina, in the charter, we declare in the opening line is for peace and friendship against nuclear weapons. There we go. That's respect. Hey, we got 12 people up in here. Hey, hey, 12 people just joined in all of a sudden. That's crazy. And I keep getting a ton of Discord messages. I don't know what's going on with this. But um, little boys just got it. Ooh. Interesting. Um, just got back from 
uh, Wisconsin. What? Hold on. Okay, so this isn't mine. Cool. Um, I'm going to mute this. Cool. Um, Low Boy just got back from Wisconsin. I hope these live streams continue off. Thank you, Low Boy. Lowe's Boy. Uh, Lowe's Boy, as we talked about last stream, if you haven't seen that, actually works and lives at Lowe's, the, the home improvement store. So uh, if you ever see Lowe's Boy, give him a uh, congratulations. Uh, I'm glad you're back, Lowe's Boy. Uh, we really appreciate it. I hope Wisconsin went well. Um, and we're glad to have you back at Lowe's. Uh, were you at the headquarters of Lowe's? What was, what was going on? Josephina, we invited attorney and the micro nations to adopt this charter for its human, to adopt this charter for its human rights and anthros. Um, I appreciate that. I guess my thing is we don't particularly have any charters or any, uh, any law set in place yet. We haven't proposed ourselves to anything because we don't feel like we have enough people or enough influence yet to do so. Um, but we definitely support it. Um, absolutely. Uh, although we haven't written and officially, uh, adopted anything on paper. Uh, I definitely support your movement, though. Uh, the Comic Creator 1296. A bestiary is just a list and encyclopedia of animals, so they're in a Google Doc. Uh, we'd like to eventually have an educational zoo of sorts with local animal species, but we don't currently. I would love that. Also, 13 people. Let's get that thumbs up ratio to 13 13. We got this, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. 13 viewers is a big deal. Um, but they were talking about having a bestiary, which is really cool. So they're, they're dialoguing all of these. Uh, they're documenting all these animals, and hopefully they want to have a uh, an educational zoo of sorts. I'm really impressed by that. And how would you go about doing that? Um, how would you go about taking care of all the animals? Would you feed animals other animals? Um, I know some places are into uh, will allow you to do that. I know some places, uh, for example, you can't go to PetSmart's if you tell them uh, that you're going to purchase uh, certain ones. I think if you go to uh, certain pet stores and tell them that you're buying feed animals, they won't. Um, allow you to purchase them, animals that are going to be eaten by other animals. So would you adopt that policy or would you um, would you feed animals other animals? Um, I don't really care either way, but I'm curious as to how you would do that and who you would show these attractions off to, how long you'd be able to keep the animals. Uh, would you keep them indefinitely? Where would you put them? These are all interesting questions. Um, Google dot, there we go. I might be getting a treaty with Flanderness, Flandersis, one of the big boy nations. Congratulations, Lowe's boy. Um, I didn't know micro nations did treaties with the, the Lowe's home improvement store, but I guess it makes bank and it works out. So congratulations. Um, Lowe's boy, that's cool, man. Um, I don't think I've had any interaction with them. That's awesome. Uh, congratulations. I hope it goes well. Um, what do those treaties do, though? I, I guess is what I'm curious, because I've, I've seen a lot of micronations have this diplomacy and have these treaties set up and things. But do you feel like that will help your nation a lot? What does a treaty, even with a larger micronation like that, mean? Does it just simply mean recognition? Does it mean actually working together on something? Does it mean uh, making money together? What? How far are you going with that? Um, Napoleon Gamer, I can't believe this was an economic video. Well, it was really supposed to be. Uh, it wasn't just supposed to be economics, but um, essentially we were going to talk more about our economic plan and how we were going to go about that, and we still can. Um, essentially trying to give a, a wrap-up just to say that we we want to have our um, – we want to have our economy, economy first stimulated by just what we can put together and what we can surmise in a uh, small account for ourselves. Once we get up to enough, we want to reinvest back into the channel, hopefully to bring ourselves to a thousand subscribers like we're shooting for right now, guys. So if you can help us out with that, uh, that would be very much appreciated because once we can start making a little bit of money on YouTube, it's not a lot, but every cent we can throw right back into our micronational fund. Uh, our treasury. Once we get that up to a certain point, once, once we have enough invested in the channel where we're doing quite a bit, we're becoming more successful and we can hopefully have more people as a part of the nation in real life, uh, we can eventually get into things like making small businesses, developing things that are larger in scope, can hopefully earn us more money. And as that cycle repeats, eventually wanting to get land of our own to run those businesses and to have as a main headquarters. Um, or at least as a headquarters, uh, a constant, consistent base for operations in the empire. Uh, Napoleon Gamer, I can't believe this is an economic video, Flugon. I was trying to, trying to ask, in what way is the empire of ants similar to the Holy Roman Empire? Good question. 
bowling gamer, and it turned into an ant lav stren. It turned into an ant lav stren. It turned to a ant live stram. It did. It turned into an ant. It turned into an ant live stram. Uh, ant stream, as he says later. We real. Real JL films, he's just memeing at this point. This is interesting. Um, comic creator, starting small would be ideal. Any colonies, butterflies, per our butterfly diversity pr restoration program, and maybe some small mammals or birds if they were injured or unable to live in the wild. That's respectable. So you're actually doing a conservation effort as well. And you can tell people if they come to visit the zoo, you can say, hey, we have donations here. Um, and Or we, we charge a quarter or something like that to come and see the animals. And when you do that, you're actually helping us toward our restoration project. That's really impressive. I love that. And to help with things like feeding the animals, taking care of them, and hopefully eventually releasing them back into the wild. So that's definitely respectable. And I, I love the idea. That's fantastic. Um, everyone wait for AP to catch up. Thank you very much, Soggy. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm getting close. I'm getting close to the bottom here. That one guy kills. Does your micro, does your micronation shave currency? have currency does your does your micronations have currency and if i thought he said does your micro shave have currency does your micro shave currency does your micronations have currency and if so how does it work and how should currency work in a micronation well um currency should go back to uh, economics in general um, what i would say um kells if you haven't seen it already go check out our economics videos because we have videos that are completely defined on that um, I talk about starting out as a uh, barter system and working up to a paper economy. You should definitely check that out. Uh, it is one of our uh, highest viewed videos, and I definitely recommend it to you. Um, that'll tell you quite a bit, and then from there, we're going to actually expand more. So if you go and watch that video, you're primed and ready for the next time we do another economics video, and you'll be, excuse me, ready to go. Um, and you'll understand and hopefully you have more questions for us that are in-depth. If you ever have any questions about that video or ones like it, hit me up and let me know. Um, comic creator, you would we would use such a zoo to rehabilitate injured wildlife, educate the public, and potentially raise money too. Respectable. Uh, does my micronation have a currency? So uh, my micronation does have a currency. Um, I've shown it on the stream before, but I can show it again real quick. It looks like this. So uh, it says Imperial Note. Um, it says one note right there. It's it's pretty nice. This one's a little bit scratched up, but uh, we do have some fairly nice currency here, uh, and I really like it. Um, it's something that I worked on for quite a while, and I'm trying to figure out how to get implemented right now. Once we have more uh, real life members, I hope, uh, citizens, I hope that that will allow us to use that currency more for more practical things, um, for creating credit uh, and lines of credit for people, as well as just making it easier to trade things back and forth without actually needing uh, to exchange US currency. Um, let's go back, real JL Holmes, everyone spam. Okay, now you're okay. Now you're just memeing, Isla. Uh, uh, well, what? What? Now you're just memeing real JL films. Excuse me. Uh, comic creator, cover the cost of it running by charging entry. Exactly. Yeah. No, I completely agree with that. Um, that's a, a great way to do that, especially because you're doing it for such a noble cause. I think people will definitely get behind it. Napoleon gamer, gotta go to bed. Bye, Napoleon gamer. We're gonna miss you. Um, have a good night, and we will see you next time on this stream. Respect. Let us know how the Empire of Ant is going. Uh, and let's see if we can get you set up with an award, a record. Uh, Kingdom Sogneen, wait for AP to catch up. Thank you. Uh, Lowe's Boy, does anyone else have a in circulation currency like already printed? Uh, I have one. Definitely let us know if you have one. Uh, Josephina, plus our economy does a weird infinity. Like, for example, there's a hyperinflation and then there's not. Um... Can you explain that, Josephina? I'm curious as to how your economy works. Um, if you do have an economy set up, I'm interested to know how that's developed and what you mean by a hyperinflation and how you mean uh, it has a weird infinity. 
Assuming all of this is based on the training of your people. Also, we have 12 people view, and thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give that a like and subscribe if you haven't. Getting back into this, though, because this is getting interesting. Real JL Films has his message redacted. Uh, Matt, Matt the Bat is saying, hey, hey, what's going on, Matt? How you doing? Uh, it's good to see you. If you haven't been here before, we are a micronational channel. We talk all about micronations. Uh, you may have found us from another micronational video. If you are making a micronation, definitely go check out our other videos. We talk about economics, culture, how to create a micronation, how to develop it, uh, how to be a realist micronation versus one that does more fantasy things. So uh, definitely hit us up. Make sure to uh, support us if you can. Um, Comrade 115, I have. Some printed currency is a test. Let us see it, man. We're excited for it. Um, Real JL Holmes, me and men still. Um, let's see. So, let's see here. Uh, Matt the Bat, hey. Um, I have printed currency. Matt the Bat, I'm Russian. What do you think of the pussy rights from a couple years ago? Um, interesting. That's a great question, Matt. I am not certain. See, I don't know a ton about it. Um, I think it is very interesting, though. I think um, from what I understand about it, Pussy Riot, there was a band called Pussy Riot that was um, um, that was a group of, I believe, gay activist women protesting about uh, rights in, in Russia. I'm not certain, honestly. Um, and if you can tell us more about it, I'd appreciate it. I think I could weigh in better if I knew more about it. But um, definitely let us know your thoughts and your opinions. Um, that's about all I know from it. Um, I think there are certain things that uh, are, are supportive to protest and other things that uh, can definitely hit a, a line for people. So let's see what, what you know about it and let's, let's talk about it. Uh, Lowe's boy, Lowe's boy, come on, man. Lowe's boy, you, you meme in now too, man. Come on, go go back to Lowe's and we'll, we'll figure something out, man. I'll, I'll buy some timber, some from you. Uh, I'll, I'll get a I'll get a measuring tape. We'll, we'll figure it out, Lowe's boy. Real jail thumbs. How did you make the currency? See, we made the currency from uh, what they call a an iron forge. So we took a um, a metal uh, a metal ingot, what they call. Uh, and we refined it down into a smooth, uh, extremely hot liquid paste. Then we scraped a small layer off, and then we ended up making these uh, metallic cards right here. Uh, and these cards, as you can see, are have very detailed printed lamination and not its paper. Uh, I, I printed them in a printer. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we ended up doing. Um, it's very nice, though. I ended up using uh, Adobe Photoshop to make some nice designs and effects, and I think it came out really professional. Thank you for the sincere question, uh, JL Films. Comrade 115, I designed mine online and just printed it. How my first attempt was just a test. That's great, Comrade. Let, I'd love to see what they look like. Um, if you want to, if you want to show us what they look like, uh, I will talk about them next stream. Um, Flu on seven, my currency is the nanner. They are not actual fruits. They're paper notes called nanners. Okay, I can respect that, Flu on. Um, can you tell us, is your whole nation based around, um, um, can you, can you tell us more about that? I guess, is your whole nation based around bananas? Um, so interesting, Joseph Pina, uh, when there's so much reproduction of our lions and leons and jagoros, notes and coins. Okay. <coughs> That's fair. There will be a dramatic increase. Okay. Um, why would you overprint them? Why wouldn't you just adjust for what you need? Um, Lowe's boy says, my micronation really annoys people. And they always argue with me about not being able to make your own nation. Also, I'm obsessed with micronationalism. Is this normal for all your people? Um, why do you feel like your micronation annoys people, Lowe's boy? Um, and also, um, uh, they always argue with me about not being able to make their own nation. Um, do you mean these are people inside your nation arguing that they should make their own nation versus being in yours? Or um, um, they argue with you about the fact that you have a micronation and that you shouldn't be able to start your own nation. That's what it seems more like. Um, I think people have a difficulty accepting micronationalism and understanding the ideas that it comes from. 
uh, people generally, when they talk about starting countries, uh, they think of it as being a very violent or very negative thing, when in fact you can come at it particularly from a cultural standpoint, saying, I have political views, I have beliefs, I have interests that I'm trying to express, and I'm trying to do it in a creative and interesting way. If you support those and if you support me, uh, by all means, try and learn more about it. But if not, there's no reason to be hostile about it because you don't understand it, I think is a great way to approach that. Um, so I think you shouldn't sweat it, uh, Lowe's boy, because a lot of people get hate. A lot of people get things from people who don't understand that. Um, so just keep doing you. Wait for those people who do support you and who do see the beauty in your visions because they will come and eventually you'll find the support that you're looking for. You just got to get with the right people. Uh, and we're all here to support you, so don't forget that. Joseph Pina, that's why we have gold, silver, and copper Leon coins. That's impressive. If you guys have real gold, silver, and copper, I'm, I'm impressed. You have to send us pictures, though, because I don't have gold, silver, or copper coins. If you've minted your own coins, um, you'll definitely get a, uh, a record for that if you share pictures of them and, and uh, prove that you have minted your own coins. Um, Let's see what Matt the Bat said. Matt the Bat, thank you so much for, for being here again. I, I imagine you're fairly new to the channel. We appreciate your subscription if you end up doing that. Um, and we're, we're talking about the Pussy Riots here, our Pussy Riot. Uh, um, NFKRZ made a video on the Pussy Riots. If you have a Discord, I can tell you. We do have a Discord. Our Discord is the Empire of Eternia. Let me see if I can post a link in the chat right now so that you can join us there. Um, let's see if we can get that going real quick for you. Invite people, copy, Let's see if we can't get that going. There we go. Okay, I just, um, so for Matt the Bat, I posted the uh, Discord link in the comments, in the live chat. If you want to hop on there, you can send me a message and we'll talk about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely interested. Uh, all artist propaganda, just print more money. Uh, you'll be rich. Ryan, you you know your political uh, political guy, you you know that's not gonna work. Don't tell people these lies, man. Ooh, ten likes and nine viewers. We're beating that hundred percent mark. We're killing it. Thank you guys so much. Eleven viewers, ten likes. Come on, we can get that one more. We're almost there. Um, but yeah, so Ryan, you know that that's not gonna work for people. You get these uh, monies to inflate and these economies to grasp. You're trying to get people to be Venezuela out here. Don't don't do that to people. Lowe's boy, I legit am going to Lowe's or Home Depot to get a flagpole. Uh, film for my flag I want to buy. That's cool, man. Um, I would definitely be interested. Um, we talked quite a bit with um, with Parkistopia. If you're not familiar with Parkistopia, we have videos where we have um, done meetings with the People's Republic of Parkistopia. They're a socialist micronation, um, and they're someone who's fairly near to us um, in proximity. One thing that's interesting about them is they have flags in some of the backgrounds of the videos. You can see their flags and those are expensive. Um, from what they told me, a, a couple hundred dollars, uh, to buy those flags. And I was impressed with them. They're very pretty, but as of right now, I don't have the space for a big flag. Um, if I did, I'd probably end up hanging it up in the background of the videos. Uh, but I'm not sure as to what price range I want to buy them. So if you find a high quality flag maker, or if you make your own flag, let me know. I've always thought about making my own flag, um, just getting cloth and, and sewing it and, and actually designing my own flag. So keep us updated. This seems like a cool project, Lowe's boy. Um, but uh, definitely go to Lowe's, Lowe's boy. You got to rep your own people. You got to. Kingdom Sogin, how do you, ooh, we got a lot of stuff, hold up. Kingdom Sogin, how do you design a good currency, um, a good looking currency? Well, um, again, I have some experience doing graphic design work. Uh, I used to own my own t-shirt company, it's called Free Legend. Um, I'm still hoping to get that back up and I'm hoping that can be some incorporate into uh, the Empire of Eternity or something you guys end up interested in. But uh, because of that, I've had, uh, I took a couple classes in high school and I, I worked on it for quite a while. Um, I just designed these in Photoshop. Um, one thing that's particularly interesting, we can go over currency designs at some point in, particular, in a video, um, but it's really about trying to bring out what you think your nation's identity, what it's, its branding is like, um, because that should be reflected in your currency. Um, in the US, you have uh, the iconic faces uh, of people who are uh, well known in the country, um, Washington, um, Washington, Jefferson, uh, Franklin, people like that. Um, 
And in the same thing, uh, in England, you have the Queen of England. In Australia, you have uh, the faces of the Prime Minister and things like that. Um, in Canada, I believe you have the Queen of England as well. Um, these things are important as recognizers for your country and as uh, things that help people define your culture. When someone looks at a, a, a piece of currency from your nation, they know, wow, that's, that's the image that comes to my mind of this nation from how it is designed. Uh, they know where it comes from and they know uh, what the feeling behind that is from that art that's on there. Um, and that's really what a currency should be all about. I know for us, we wanted to impose a, um, a strong yet elegant imperial standard a design. So we have um, these, uh, it's hard to see, uh, we'll do a better uh, description later, but we have this really nice uh, flower chain going right here around the bottom to show that sort of elegance, to show that description. Uh, we have these really nice uh, font eyes here for considering one note. We have our one note printed there in more of a uh, strong, more professional lettering uh, to give some show of strength. We have imperial note here in black, so it can be uh, black and white, so it can be clearly seen. Uh, we have the Empire of Eternia written down small uh, in, in the bottom. Um, in a nice, uh, more um, um, cursive sort of lettering. And then we have these purple banners uh, because purple, gold, and white are the, uh, the colors of our nation. And then as well, this is just some continued added decoration that's uh, very, uh, very artistic, very um, um, fancy looking. So it's just trying to describe how you want your nation to be seen. If your nation is uh, primarily based around the military and things like that, maybe you have machine guns on it or something like that, uh, swords on it, uh, a skull and crossbones if you're a pirate micronation, or bananas if you're a banana micronation. Um, so it definitely depends on what you are interested in. But we can talk about that more in another video. Also, we have 12 viewers. Thank you guys so much. Um, uh, okay, so let's see here. Um, uh, Lowe's boy, not people in my nation. Okay, so you're talking about other people arguing with you about being able to create that. Um, real JL films. Um, let me let me respond real quick. So um, let's see here. Um, but yeah, so we are talking about, we are talking about, um, how to create these currencies, um, real jail films, Lowe's boy for me, it happens sometimes except for my friends who are either okay with it or are a part of it. Absolutely. Again, it really depends on trying to, excuse me, trying to find people that are supportive of you and of your interests. Um, Joseph Pina, um, the reason for rapid printing is a demand high of high wage for it. The Supreme Leader Authority sees this as a problem. Can you go into more description? I guess I'm interested. The reason for rapid printing is a demand of high wage for it. High wage for it. So wage generally means payment for a good, uh, for this, an employee. Um, so a high demand for it, I imagine, is what you're saying. Uh, if there's a high demand for it, then it should hit that value. Otherwise, you're devaluing the currency. If there's a high demand, it means you're increasing the value of it, which is great. So that means that you can charge um, that same one note can buy you more and more, which is a good thing. You want to make sure your, your currency has a nice balance between having enough of it printed so that people can use it effectively, but not too much so that it is devalued. Um, I think you may be having a secondary problem where it's devaluing a little too quickly. So rein back your printing. Lowe's boy, what about obsession? Is everyone here obsessed? Um, what? Josephina, do strikes by workers? What? Lowe's boy, with micronationalism. What? Oh, as a problem with micronationalism in general? Um, maybe, but again, if you're the one controlling your currency, it should be you who reins back the printing or however you're working with that. Um, Vanessa Brooks. Hey, Vanessa Brooks, how are you? Uh, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for checking out the stream. Um, really appreciate it. 
Um, glad to see you here. Uh, I know you get on Jets live streams a lot of the time, but we're glad to have you here always. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. We talk about micro nations. We are people who are creating our own nations. We have cultures. We have cool currencies and things that we show off. Um, and we're just an interesting bunch of people. So if that seems fun to you, if you want to create your own nation or if you want to learn more about the people who make their own nations and how you go about that, uh, make sure to subscribe and keep up with us. We really appreciate you here. Uh, Matt the Bat, I joined there. Uh, all art is propaganda. If you don't want to print more money, just destroy everyone else's money. <laughs> I, Ryan, you know these are not good ideas. I'm pretty sure this is Ryan. I'm I'm almost certain. Uh, you will be rich. King of Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. And that's how time works. So I mean, just crack the case, and it's it's crazy. Also, hey, what's going on, Etienne? Uh, I'm glad to see you back in the streams, man. We have been missing you. Uh, Etienne's been here since early on in the channel, uh, and we always appreciate seeing you here. Uh, Etienne actually uh, is a part of the Empire of Eternity, uh, and we've missed him for a while. Um, we're actually just getting back into things, Etienne. Uh, and we want to talk to you all about new interests in the channel, what we're doing, what we're up to. So keep posted, and we will talk more on Discord. Uh, Lowe's Boy, $30 for one, uh, uh, one times two, but that's all I need. One or two, I'm guessing. Or one by two? What? Uh, Etienne, AP, 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 AP. What is up, Etienne? I hope you're doing well. Uh, Kingdom Sogin, if you want, I can make you a passport. Um, ooh, that's another thing too. Uh, passports for entering your country are cool. Uh, you should probably charge people for them if you're making them because they can be quite decorative and quite interesting. Uh, but also that really depends on how many people are in your nation and if you have a reason to stop people from coming into your nation. Um, that can be a, a strong economic tool for you. We will talk about that more in the future. Um, uh, flew on hooray for acknowledging the inner nation. You know, I will acknowledge, I acknowledge the inner nation. We think the inner nation is cool, and if you can come up with more and more symbology for it, more descriptions of it, more interest in it, uh, I'll be hyped about it. So hit us up, show us all your progress on that nanner nation. Uh, Etienne AP, you look fresh. Why, thank you, Etienne. I always appreciate it. Um, and I'm sure you look fresh as well. Uh, good, uh, good looks, man. Um, I can't wait to learn more about what you've been up to. Uh, Lose Boy, I kind of just want to uh, know how many other people are obsessed with micronationalism. I guess obsessed is an interesting term. I think everybody has it as something they're striving for, and I think we're all very passionate about micronationalism. Um, if you are obsessed with micronationalism, that's cool, man. Everyone needs a hobby. Everyone needs passions, uh, and that's what we're all trying to do. So if you are obsessed with micronationalism, put it towards your micronation, create express to people how much you care and express why it is that you're making this micronation. Um, or if you want to join another micronation, be the crier for that micronation. Tell the world why that micronation is so great because all micronations need people that are passionate about them to get other people fired up because it's a chain reaction. Once you have two or three people who are really energetic about your nation, that's going to spread like wildfire. People are going to be wanting to see what makes your nation so great that those other people are just through the roof about it. So absolutely, um, that's that's great to hear how passionate you are. Um, Flugon, I started my whole micronation as an inside joke between some, uh, as a joke between some friends. Uh, I started Wars Over Bananas in Civ Five, but I stumbled across this channel and said, because it's noise. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad you like it. I think you're pretty noise, and um, yeah, that's that's what's important uh, is just finding a community of people that you enjoy and that you appreciate. And also, micronations are cool. If you like your micronation, if you want to create one, and if you want to try and do something sincere with it, definitely do as well. If you want to join one and try and make something bigger and better, please do. That's what we're trying for every day. Um, uh, Flew on 7, I don't really care about my micronation too much. Basically, just a meme nation. Um, then Flugon, hit us up. Become a part of the Empire of Eternity. We're always looking for people, and we're definitely looking for you. And your nanners. Josephina, the workers were on strike for one trillion lions, which caused a crash in our stock exchange. P.S. We use all currencies of the world, old and new. Yours will be used as well. Thank you very much, Josephina. We would love to provide you with some of our currency. As of right now, it would be difficult. Um, our currency is 
weighted at uh, one note equals one US dollar. So it's at that uh, exchange rate as of right now. That being the case, it would be difficult to uh, to exchange that. I would love something, if you could provide us with some art or something like that. Eventually I wanna get a PO box um, so that we can accept fan mail and things. Uh, and I wanna start putting it up on the wall behind me here. Uh, I wanna start having things from all the nations that are wonderful and around us that care about us and to start showing what our community really is about and what we like and what we're interested in. Uh, so if you wanna send us that, I'm sure eventually we can send you some of our micronational currency as well. If you are the nation of artists and um, and dreamers, then please send us your beautiful art and we will send you some of our currency. Um, let's see here. Lowe's boy with a flag, $30 uh, is one by two. Oh, that's cool. Uh, one by two feet or inches. Because uh, one by two inches, there'd be a little tiny one, which would be cool. Uh, inch, be maybe like that. Uh, one by two feet would also be pretty cool because it'd be maybe like that also be pretty cool. Uh, and that's something that I could put, it'd be around the same size as that sheet of paper. Um, and that'd be cool. Your your flag data, you should hit me up. Joseph Pina, uh, the high arrow into that wage damaged it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, flew down to seven. However, I did give my nation certain aspects to more noise, et cetera. Uh, example, our government is based on Pinochet. Um, Flugon, explain what that means. Um, I'm not sure what your government's based off of. Flugon 7, and obviously we love manners. Lil's boy, good. I have anxiety, so that's why I need to know. Um, don't worry, Lil's boy. We, we feel you here, man. Uh, and we are supportive. If you are passionate about micronationalism, we're passionate about your passion for that. So definitely appreciate you here. Uh, all art is propaganda. Pinochet was a fascist. Ooh, okay. So that's tough. Um, it is it is cool that you are interested in all these different forms of government and how things develop. Uh, maybe not the best person to model yourself after. Um, I would be curious as to what benefits you see in that. Uh, as of right now, it's a fairly small nation, I imagine. So there must not be a ton to rule over in that sense or to have sort of a an iron grip one at the moment, um, but can't judge. Kingdom of Sagi, I have only told my close friends about my micronation because I think other people think it's stupid. And that's a hard thing as well. It was a really hard thing to do because people will judge you and people will think that it's different uh, and they won't know how to react to it. Um, over time, I've slowly gotten more and more out into telling people about my micronation, about my YouTube channel. Um, and it's nervous. It, I'm 21 years old, and it's something that is nerve-wracking for me a little bit because um, it's something that you're always wondering about people judging you for, but it's something that's good. It's, if you feel passionate about this, if you sat down and spent all this time to create something that you feel like respect reflects you, if you're saying, well, I would live in this nation, this nation is so cool to me that I would live in it and that I would become its uh, its its presenter to the world, I'll show it off as something that I'm proud of and that I love, then people should be able to feel that love too. Um, once you express it to the right people, they will. They will find it and they will become interested and they'll want to get a part of it. Uh, you just have to find people that you can connect with because people sometimes don't understand. If you can pitch it to them right and if you can sit down and explain to them, I'm sure you'll find the right people. They may be few and far between, but you'll find them. Um, and also people who don't like it, people who make fun of it, so what? They're not helping your cause anyway. So you throw it out there to them. If they make fun of it or if they laugh at it, go, cool. You're not getting any benefits from that. I'm one of the next person who will, um, who will take it more seriously because they'll regret it. If you become successful in what you're doing, they'll regret not taking you up on your offers. Um, Kingdom of Sogin, I have uh, messages held for review. Uh, emoji Dorito said no sheet. Uh, flew on seven. He fixed the Chilean economy. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, he fixed the Chilean economy. Okay. Um, well, uh, I hope then maybe you can um, be interested in successful economic plans, but not necessarily fascist. Emoji Dorito. Pinochet was definitely a fascist. Lowe's boy. My nation is a political stance that I can do better than the United States as a nation. Um, I also think that's really interesting. 
um, for a lot of people, I think micronationalism comes out of being uh, apathetic or being uh, dis, uh, dissatisfied with the way that their macro nation is run and their feeling of being able to find importance in it. Um, that's why micro nations are so cool is because you can be very, very valuable in a nation of very few people. Um, and you can have your voice heard very loudly. But at the same time, one of the struggles with that is that if we all want to be the kings and queens of our own nations, then we won't necessarily get anywhere with our uh, abilities. Macro nations have hundreds of thousands and millions of people as a part of them. So some nations have billions of people as a part of them. So it's difficult to compete with those things and to try and call yourself sincerely a nation, uh, a country, if you want to become a country. Um, without having a larger group of people, without saying, I'm going to support my fellow micronations, I'm going to be a part of fellow micronations, and I'm going to help them succeed because they're going to help me succeed. Um, if one micronation creates a business, other micronations can do things to fuel that business, which will then in turn make them money because they can be subcontractors under that and so on and so on. And we can all bring ourselves up, but we first have to support a small few, those who we can believe can do it, and then we can spread that out um, a little bit better. Um, all art is propaganda. As their economy recovered after Pinochet was not in charge. Uh, I don't care if he was a fascist. I still like him. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, for when I say based on Pinochet, I mean we hate communism and communists. We like a strong sense of nationalism. Plus, I like his hands, his style of uh, hands of economy style, hands off economy style. I imagine. Even if he didn't actually help, I don't care because I like the idea of being an evil dictator. Okay, I get it. So it's kind of a power fantasy dream thing. That's cool. I respect it. Um, again, I don't think fascism in, in the real world is a, is a good thing at all. Um, definitely a very dangerous idea. But if you want to make something where you feel like your ideas can be shared and can become powerful, that's well respected. I, I support I support your freedoms and your independence to create a micronation. Although I don't necessarily support it being based around a fascist. I think you could do better than that. Um, Joseph Pena, the realm um, has provinces and states as official areas. Provinces are small rural areas and states are huge cities and downtown areas. Okay, I can respect that. Uh, all artists propping it up. Why hate communism? Flugon, because he don't like it. And then Lowe's boy gave up to that. Artist propaganda, in what way is it? Uh, we don't drop communists out of a helicopter like Pinochet, though, because we can't afford helicopters. That's savage. That's savage. Comrade, communism, capitalism, cool, just for different ways. Agreed. Communism, I think we need a mix of both styles in a more stable economy, such as in place in Northern Europe. Well, socialism. So communism is fairly extreme. Uh, the socialism uh, and and uh, capitalist markets are absolutely uh, an essential mix because social policy is important in a capitalist society. Um, if you have too far one or the other, I think that's where things start to get more difficult. Um, King so again, you made it to the end. All our just propaganda, capitalism, communism cannot be mixed. Agreed, capitalism, communism cannot be mixed. Capitalism and social policy uh, do need to be more intertwined, but agreed, capitalism, communism is strongly against capitalism, because capitalism means private industry, things like that. Communism specifically describes uh, the average worker uh, taking the means of production into their own hands and redistributing it, which is opposed to the ideals of capitalism uh, purposefully. That's how it was designed. So um, that in mind, I, I think Ryan is, is onto something there, but uh, that being the case, uh, I I think that it's it's a toughy, touchy subject. Blue on seven. What about purely fat? Ooh, see, that's that's weird. Um, fascist does not equal perfect. Uh, doesn't at all. Uh, Kingdom of Sogin, nah. Ooh, Kingdom of Sogin coming in with the nah. Also, guys, I really appreciate you being part of the stream. I think I am going to call it here, uh, but I really love and appreciate you all. Uh, I'm glad that you were a part of the stream. Um, 
one more, I'll read this last one. The reason for that is because the nations of the world are known as member states of the eternal state. Monarchy, like Eternia, is known for, are known as power. Like Eternia, eternal state monarchies like Eternia know, are known as power core nations. What are power core nations? I, I appreciate that, but I don't, I don't know what you mean. Uh, that being said, though, I, I really do appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Um, I want to express my interest uh, in all of your nations, and I hope that uh, I've uh, shown you some interest in my own. Uh, if you are interested in becoming a part of the Empire of Eternia or helping us out, the biggest thing you can do is subscribe, uh, share this with everybody, because like I said, we're getting close to 500 subscribers right now. I'm really excited about it. Once we hit 1,000, that's going to be the way that we can start monetizing, making our money, and actually making our micronation even further into uh, a successful state. So I really appreciate that. Uh, it'll also give us the ability to grow more and do a whole bunch. Um, but that all being said, if you want to find out how you can help personally, uh, contact me through my email or through Discord as far as how you can become a productive citizen in the Empire. And I can definitely tell you there will be rewards for that. There are benefits for that. Um, and we will do everything we can to not only make Eternia a great place, but to help uh, give benefits and support to the rest of our micronational brothers and sisters. So thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Um, bye guys. Have a good night.